Asylum seekers are on their way to El Paso. Good evening, I'm Natasia Paloma. Beginning tomorrow, a group of asylum seekers will be released right here in the borderland. KTSM 9 News reporter Stephanie Shields is live with how local immigration advocates are preparing for their arrival. About 25 migrants are expected to be processed here at our port of entry and then released into El Paso tomorrow. Local shelter, the Annunciation House, says it's made the proper adjustments to COVID-19 as they prepare to house those migrants when they get here. We took a tour of the Annunciation House, taking a look at how they spaced out sleeping cots, prepare, uh, provide individual hand sanitizer and hand washing stations, as well as require everyone to wear face masks. Annunciation House says they're only expecting 25 per weekday, expecting that number to go up to 250 by March and 75 by the end of March. Immigration attorneys tell us there's room for error, however, as migrants will be provided just one document where they need to provide information to receive their court orders. So the whole point of this program is to give people the opportunity to actually apply for asylum. Um, and if this process, in terms of that one piece of paper, is not processed correctly, we could be seeing thousands of people with deportation orders. Annunciation House says it also has rapid tests available to test migrants once they're at the shelter and protocol in place if someone does test positive. And Garcia adds a majority of asylum seekers are only in El Paso for just a few days, but he did not disclose when they are expecting that first group to arrive tomorrow. For now, reporting live near the U.S.-Mexico border, Stephanie Shields, KTSM 9 News. All right, Stephanie, thank you. Happening now.